Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this continuation of our Unity Pro Builder tutorial series, we're going to start taking a look at the new Poly Shape tool. And if you're ready to keep learning, let's go. So here we're back in Unity and we're still looking at Pro Builder and some of the tools and functions of that tool. So what is the next one? We are looking at the new Poly Shape. I love the new Poly Shape. So let's go ahead and I think the best way to implement the, the new poly shape is to do this from a top down perspective. So how do we do that? Well, we use the little 3D gizmo that's in the very upper right hand corner of our scene view and we click on the Y value. Once we do that, then we can click and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my pro grids and to get pro grids, you can always click on the package manager. Then once you're in the, the package manager, you can click on pro. Now currently pro grids is part of a preview package. If you don't have that available, you can click on advanced project settings. And then within here, you can enable preview packages. Once you do that, then you'll have access to all these other options that we don't normally have as part of the Unity registry. So go ahead and download and install Pro Grids. And then of course, that's part of the Pro Tools uh, set of tools that are there. And then you'll have this dialog box. You can turn it on and change what the different settings for what your snapping is, uh, is attached to. In this case, I'm gonna have this attached to every one unit. So the little squares that you see here, and you can see my, my cursor is uh, snapping to each of those lines, which is really nice to create nice square shapes. Okay. So anyway, back to our new poly shape, it's wanting me to draw out a shape. So if we're developing some kind of a building, this would be a great way of setting that up. So let's go ahead and just uh, drag out and build some kind of shape that we can have as a building. I don't know what kind of building this would be. I'm not an architect, but let's just say it looks something like this. Cool. So we now have this shape. Now this is really just a flat shape. It's like a plane. So let's go ahead and go back into our normal view and you can see this is just a flat shape. So this really gives us a top down view of what the walls, I guess, would be attached to. And then we can click on extrusion. So this allows us to give this uh, shape some height, okay? So let's just type in three meters. That's about the height of a normal room, I guess. And then of course, we want to have this be a building, not that you'd necessarily have to be, but in this case, we want to be on the inside of this object versus on the outside. So we're gonna click on flip normal. So that we're gonna take the skin, so instead of seeing it from the outside, we only want to be able to see it when we're on the inside. So we're going to take those normals and flip it. And now we can have this as an interior space. And then there we go. So you can now see what the inside of this room looks like. So that looks pretty darn cool. So let's go ahead and quit editing. And then our shape is there and it's set. And then if we ever you know, quit editing and we are we have that shape, but then we know we need to go and maybe change some things. Let's say like, I don't like the way this shape is sticking out. We can always go back and edit poly shape. So then we're back to our points that we can then select. So I can select those points and I can move those points around to be exactly where we want those to be. So there is the new poly shape tool and it's a great way for you to start building a very fast room type environment or you can use it for all kinds of other things as well. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Again, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.